Hello everybody, Ishard2003 aka Camden here today bringing you guys a new discussion video for you guys. And today I am discussing the next big update to Minecraft Console Edition, Pocket Edition, Windows 10 Edition, VR and VR Edition. So, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Like it if you do like it, share it if you like it, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But let's get into it. So, the Minecraft community has recently been split due to a massive update coming to the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Virtual Reality, Pocket Edition, and Windows 10 editions this fall. This update is intended to unify the Minecraft community, though, as of now, it's dividing it. The first of it. The first announcement of this update sold well at the E3 Expo this last year. The first announcement of this update sold well at the E3 Expo this last June. It was said that the update would allow cross-platform play between the five consoles and devices. Servers will be implemented into the game along with marketplace for add-on experiences. A new DLC texture pack sweetens the deal too the super fancy graphics pack in 4K resolution. The whole update will run on one massive instrument called the Bedrock Engine. So we're stating the consoles being run on this engine. We have the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, VR, Pocket Edition, and Windows 10 Edition. Notice I left out the PC, Mac, Wii U, Xbox 360, and PlayStation Editions. These versions of the game will not be included in the Better Together update. Why? Well, let's start with the PlayStation. So, Sony and Microsoft, or rather, PlayStation and Xbox, are rival companies. The way the Better Together update will work cross-platform is through the player's Xbox Live account. This is a paid membership thing that runs the Microsoft gaming community. I mean, like, I think most people kind of know what this is if you're an Xbox user. Um, but Sony refuses this update to come to their devices because it'll give Microsoft a profit advantage. So, like, kind of, like, do you see what's the problem here? Like, they don't want an Xbox thing coming to PlayStation because of rivals, you know, all that stuff. Um, but we were lucky enough to have Nintendo agree to this change. But the problem is, Microsoft copies sell more than Switch copies. Now, don't hold me on that because I'm not sure, but it's probably a good guess. Anyways... The, anyways though, lots of PlayStation players are going to be left out of this update. For Xbox 360 players such as me, uh, the game will continue to receive updates as long as it's possible. This doesn't include the Better Together update though, so it'll mainly be like content features, so like if new blocks were added, new mobs, stuff like that. Uh, but I have to keep in mind though that Xbox 360s have not been sold in stores in over a year. Uh, so it's obvious it's a last generation console and it will be obsolete pretty soon. So yeah, bad bad luck for me and anyone else out there that still plays uh, Xbox 360, which I think Stampy might still. I think his lovely world's still on Xbox 360, so yeah, we're troopers. Um, but yeah. Wii U also stands in the same position. It's been replaced by the Switch, so it's less important and will only be given feature updates like the Xbox 360. Uh, for the most important version for me, uh, the Java edition, which is the original Minecraft edition, uh, it'll continue to be updated, but won't be compatible in crossplay. A recent statement from Jeb, Yang's lead developer, calls the Java edition a possible community edition. So what he means by this is that in the future, it'll most likely become community driven because so far, so much of it is. People download maps offline, texture packs, mods. It's pretty much already community driven and it's a lot easier on the computer edition because, you know, it's the World Wide Web. I mean, you don't go onto the internet on the uh, Xbox as much as you do on the computer. Like, you don't search web browsers and all. While we're on the topic of Java Edition, I'd like to bring up that uh, the 1.13 update is in the works. Screenshots have been released on Twitter by Mojang's newest team member, Jasper uh, Borstra. I probably said that wrong, but uh, it's uh, new Minecraft textures. Yes, they're changing every texture, every block texture in the game, possibly even mobs, I'm not for sure. But 
I'm changing it and making it officially the new texture of Minecraft. And I'm pretty split between all the textures that have been released. Um, so I will be expressing my opinions on them in an upcoming video, so look out for that. Back to the Bedrock version though. All excluded versions to the next update will uphold their own name. So for example, there will be like Xbox 360 Edition, PlayStation Edition, Java Edition, and Wii U Edition. And then the other ones will, instead of being called like Xbox One Edition, uh, Nintendo Switch Edition, those will be all called Minecraft together. So, not Minecraft console, Minecraft. So again, that includes Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, uh, uh, Pocket Edition, uh, Virtual Reality Edition, I don't even know what that, the real name for that one's called, um, and Windows 10 Edition. So the fact that four systems are not getting moved to the Bedrock Engine isn't as bad of a deal as you may think. Like, you know, it's just like, oh, those, most of those are the obsoletes, they're like the, the, the consoles nobody even plays anymore. Except Cam Dan. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, my opinion though, like, the Bedrock Edition is flawed. It's got a lot of flaws to it. Uh, the, these versions that are being left out actually may be saved, uh, from this beast, this big update that's kind of like dividing Minecraft unlike what it's supposed to be doing like unifying it's actually kind of splitting it apart so can, let, let me paint you a picture of my thoughts it was announced that this better together update will not come to disc versions of the game so instead of going to Best Buy uh, or GameStop or whatever and actually buying Minecraft on disc taking it home plugging it into your uh, console and then bam it, it's it's there um, yeah, they're not doing that. Even if you have the game on disc for like Xbox One per se, it won't be included in the update. So you have to download the digital version of the game rather than owning the disc. And this like forces everyone to download the digital game instead of the disc. So maybe like, I don't know, you might not have enough storage to actually download a game to the console. You have to get the disc uh, for that little removable storage bit. So, yeah, it's not a good uh, deal for anyone that's got really packed and loaded uh, storage systems on their consoles. Uh, but, yeah. So that pretty much drives a little bit of people off. But, again, you're probably like, oh, not too bad. Well, another thing needed to do to pull off this update is that controls need to be changed. This is because developers want everyone on multiplayer servers to, have, to like have an equal chance of winning no matter what platform is being used. Because, you know, playing against, like, if you're using a controller, like an Xbox controller, it's a lot easier than having to use your big hands on your little phone screen to try to fight people. You know, it's not exactly the fairest situation. So, what they're doing is they're uh, changing the controls to one controller, uh, this new controller to, for everyone, you know, that's a bit more fair. The problem with this is that Minecraft players prefer a particular platform for a reason. Controls are usually, you know, what they like over other uh, platforms. If the game is changed to a new controller, the console feel that makes the console version of the game unique and popular is lost. Like, I heard a lot of YouTubers addressing the situation saying like, I don't really want this to happen because I play Minecraft Xbox for saves, whatever they say, or Minecraft uh, Nintendo Switch for a reason because I don't like having to play the computer version, I don't like the keys, or I don't like having to tap my phone. Like the other day, I was trying to teach my dad how to play uh, Minecraft on the computer. And he was just like, I can't do this. I'm more of a joystick person because uh, when he grew up, that's pretty much all they had were little Nintendo joysticks. Um, so yeah, he, he couldn't play it. And that's what the thing is with a lot of these uh, console players is that they prefer the controls over everything else. The features are the same, but they just can't interact with it as fluidly as they can with uh, the joystick or the buttons or whatever on their controller. Other features being removed to fit the new Minecraft uh, are map coordinates, DLC trials, custom super flats, sword blocking, minigames, amplified worlds, world sizes, and the one 
nobody cares about, except for a few of us, like me, uh, which is furnace minecarts. Sad day, we're losing furnaces and minecarts, because, I mean, who doesn't want to gut cook while they are riding down the mine rails? Yeah. To further understand the losses of these features, I'll link a video by IBX Toy Cat in the description that covers their uses. So say you're not a fan of this update, as I am. Why not stick to your old game version, such as like Minecraft Xbox One Edition, Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition, instead of upgrading to Minecraft? Well, Mojang have announced that those versions will not receive any updates uh, beyond the Better Together update. So this forces you to buy the new Minecraft that comforts most people. Not really good. So what do you think about all this? Will you be upgrading? Do you agree with these changes? Why or why not? Let's start a discussion in the comments below. Um, so that way we can just hear each other's opinions, maybe persuade other people to join your side of the debate. And yeah, it's a big situation. The bedrock uh, engine is flawed. Um, I think in the future, Million can take our feedback from it and create one way to unify Minecraft without frustrating everyone. Um, so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like it if you liked it, share it if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys all in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye! Camden is me out.